Hey guys, I'm back from vacation, and I wanted to make a video for those of you who'd like to follow what's going on in the channel, and um, I also wanted to address some comments publicly. This is probably going to be a very boring video if you're only here to get um, ideas or script, which I respect too, by the way, um, but then you might want to click off the video as, like I said, it's going to be pretty boring. But uh, for the others though, thanks for being awesome, and let's jump right into it. And I'd like to start the small recap of last week with what I've done during my week. Um, basically, I took a break from coding for the first time in, what, eight years? And in the first few days, I started making an asset package that should be released during the month on the asset store for a certain price, something like five bucks, something really cheap. I don't want this to be um, like 20 bucks package. It's going to be like low poly assets. And when it's completed, of course, this is going to be free for all the people that follow me on Patreon. And um, yeah, once it's completed, it's just gonna be released out there and it's gonna be a modular kit. So you can make multiple building out of the assets I'm going to make. It's about 25% done. I've done a lot of modeling, a lot of UVs. The texture, they are all placeholders thus far. So I still need to do a lot of texture. And uh, the goal with this, like I said, is just to create some modular assets so I can use them in multiple game um, or prototype we're making. And after that, I went back to the website, worked on it a little bit, retackled the art of the editor, the footer, and um, also fixed the tutoring page. And if you guys are interested in tutoring, I currently have one more spot left at the moment. You can check out the page in the description if you are interested. And I'm currently adding a Patreon login as well, so the people that pledge on Patreon, they get free download of the download page. Things like the asset package I mentioned earlier, the code box, or some full projects like the stack. And uh, of course, more to come in the future. So I guess those were the two things uh, that I guess I could say was productive on. Um, but then I played game, mostly Overwatch and World of Warcraft, because I'm, I'm a gamer, good times. And I ended the week by working on the tower game a little bit. Talking about the tower game, we're, we're pushing for the alpha build in two weeks. So um, it should be on Google Play Store with all functionality working, so look out for that. After it's out, I'll work on the art on my end, so no videos, I'm just restyling the whole thing. And uh, then we can go back to adding more content, abilities, enemy, in-app purchase, and such. And that pretty much resume it for my vacation week. Um, moving on to a small FAQ session where I answer the comments, I get the most. Um, the first one I get quite a lot is, can I sell the games I made while watching your tutorial? And um, I'm all for it, so yes, you're free to copy the game and sell them, I'm not gonna go after you. I don't have the power to do that, nor do I want to. So if you'd like just copy stuff, of course watch the video, copy it, and then it's yours. This one I get a lot as well, can you do a tutorial on X topic? The way I choose which tutorial I'm going to make next is based off the demand I see in the comments. While I don't answer to every comment, I do read all of them, so um, every single one of them affect the decision I make for both the content and also the channel direction, so keep on leaving comments. How did you learn programming? I did not really want to learn programming in the first place, all I wanted to do is make games. So I've watched YouTube tutorial copy-pasting stuff I didn't really understand until suddenly I start recognizing some patterns, and then I got myself a tutor for um, the blocking issues I had, you know, the, those kind of bugs that last until 4 in the morning. And um, I've had a tutor for 2 weeks, and then I went from there, so I just learned from really just watching other people do it, and uh, I got somebody else to help me when I, when I had like the big issues. Next one is, are you paid? Everybody putting a lot of time on YouTube has that wish of getting paid for it eventually. Being able to turn this hobby into um, some kind of real job, so that hobby is usually more than like 40 hours anyway. Um, being able to do that is, you know, it's, it's kind of a dream for us and I'm no different. I wish I could turn this into a job and I've had plans to make it so. But when I started this channel, I had a MCN under my name, a sub MCN. I was going to recruit other people under my MCN and then take a small share of their revenue. That is how Freedom, Maker Studios or any big MCN does it. While I didn't plan on competing with any of those big guys, I could still have my little MCN with a few popular people and um, it could help me sustain at least. In terms of YouTube, I've been around for over 7 years, so I had my own entertainment channel when I was younger, I was playing WoW on there, I was playing League of Legends, and um, I did a lot of work for bigger guys too, so bigger guys in those two games I was working with, um, well you know, I, I did a lot of work for them in the background. And I've also worked at Freedom, established in the Philippines. Um, they're the one to help me get my MCN. However, earlier this year, YouTube shut down every sub-MCN, so 
Again, I'm, I'm no different. They shut down my MCN too. So my whole plan on making money with the MCN and being able to sustain without needing a full-time job um, pretty much just got shut down in a single day. That's when you saw me start a Patreon page, which is currently helping out a lot. And I can't be grateful enough for the people who helping me out there. Thanks to Haley, thanks to Andrew, thanks to Dean Quay, thanks to Thomas, and also thanks to Dimitri. There is also the ads revenue, however this is really unstable as it depends on which month of the year we're currently in. The ads rates are higher in June and December, and for the rest of the year they drop a little bit lower and uh, you know that's really like different numbers. But here are the revenue I made through ads in the past year doing YouTube, I'm really transparent about that, if you just ask me I'll just show it to you. And uh, note that this is for 500,000 views. And of course, I'm trying to grow that number, which bring me to the other questions. Can you please give me your script for free? Well, to this answer, it is free. It's right there, right in your face. All you got to do is copy it. Please don't ask me to send you the script directly. It defeats the whole purpose of what I'm trying to do here on YouTube, uh, which is to get watch time, grow the channel, and try to sustain. Asking me to give away my script through a digital download removes all the watch time minutes you could have given me otherwise. And in case you're wondering, the most important thing to show up in a search result on YouTube is not the view count, it's not the like count, it's the minute watch. Now if you'd like to help me out, uh, turn on a playlist and leave it playing. This is literally the best way to help me out, grow and achieve bigger goals, which in return will give me more time to work on the channel and you know, more quality content. And finally, the last question I'll answer is, have you made any games? And um, to that, I'm going to answer, I've made some AAA games in the past while working with Ubisoft. I was not really like, you know, when you're working in a big studio like that, uh, you're, you're one out of a thousand. So um, I did that when I was younger. And since then, I've made a ton of small but unpublished game, except one, one that is published and it's very boring. I'm not proud of it at all. Um, it's on Google Play and it was just to test out stuff. Anyway, I've got this other game I'm working on. Uh, I've been working on it for two months now, and it's going to be my real first release. It's a small and simple puzzle game that I'm trying to polish as much as I can before seeing it on the market, uh, for free download of course. And that's going to conclude the small recap FAQ video. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and also for being awesome. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.